Uh, in this video, we are going to take a look at i7-6600U and compare it with the Skylake i7-6650U. The two processors are, uh, are very important because Microsoft has used them in its Surface Pro 4 uh, notebooks or netbook, whatever you call them. So, it's very important you understand the difference between these two. It's so subtle that you may end up um, buying the one when you wanted the other. So, we will clear up some of the mist around it. Let's take a look at their basic configurations. Ordinarily, you will expect the 6650 to be faster, but if you look at the specs and the, it's not the case. We have same number of cores and hyper threading is supported and the base clock frequency is actually slower in the i5 i7-6650U but this it catches up in the turbo clock frequency so its peak performance is not compromised you should not uh, feel uh, your peak performance to in, in real life uh, both of them are actually TDP has a TDP rating of 15 watts it allows it has allowed the Microsoft to design uh, very thin uh, Surface Pro without uh, any fan or anything. Now uh, the i7-6650 is has a configurable TDP, TDP down to 9.5 volt versus 7.5 volt and the reason for this has to do with the Intel HD graphics that we see here and that's going to be the next big difference between two and that's why I said if you are not uh, careful you can choose the one processor um, when you needed the another if you are really looking for a graphics power for example if you are doing a lot of game play a lot of game or intend to play a lot of game or you want a lot of uh, graphics processing for example video compression photoshop autocad anything that involves a lot of graphics in that case i7-6650u makes much more sense of course, i7-6650U is going to be a little bit expensive, not as much as the uh, notebook uh, manufacturer will make it out to be. Intel has not really made that price difference that much big, but uh, you will see that price difference and, and the reason has to do with the better graphics. You get much better graphics with i7-6650U. Uh, uh, processing power is also uh, is not a that big uh, that uh, big deal uh, because 6650 has uh, has the matching turbo clock frequency. Uh, looking at the pass mark score, we have a four four seven four seven for six six zero U for for. Uh, um, for CPU's pass mark score, a popular pass mark score, but we we don't have a 6650U at the moment. But you can go and check, take a look at the benchmark score. I believe it should come out about around the same uh, because uh, this benchmark score also takes into account the graphics performance. So I hope it helps you. Thanks for taking a look.